Rosemary for the salad. Fresh. Better do that. You want me to follow you? If that's exciting for a camera. What I'm do you What do you think? For. We'll take a live audience poll. You know, I'll read their minds as well, this camera is recording. I'll, you. I'll just steal all of the live audience's energy and then sprint out there while you follow. You ready? Okay. Oh no, sick abs. <laughs> it grows in the shade. back. Ooh, they're flowering. Orbs will always come back. It's been back. flowering forever. It flowers yeah. for a long time. If you put them under willows every year, they're healthy. Same with my dick. too much I'll save this for later you don't want to blow out your senses with all the rosemary in your salad all right oh yeah Shake it on that air. Oh yeah, shake it on that air, no man. Shake it right on, yeah. Oh yeah. Real right on there. Real good. Look at that. Oh yeah, it looks Sometimes. like fine ground tea leaves. Tell me my fortune. Smells like uh, strong herbs. Strong magic. I'll just uh, pour that right in here on this uh, fresh herb salad. And see, this has minimal parsley and dill. Like, I prefer none, but some people always want a little, so... There might be a tiny sprig in here, but I didn't really see any. Even though it claims to have it in the mix. And because all those mixes of weird herbs that are popping up at the stores are so weird to me, Instead of like things that I would want mixed at the store that aren't there, that you always just gotta add a bunch of like lettuce to it in general. So we'll add our onions and lettuce in there. Sort in the onions and lettuce. Oh yeah. Yep. Sort in the onions and lettuce. Oh yeah. Sticking it in the bowl. Gonna eat it all. Probably. Yeah, I cut up the lettuce into, you know, both way hash strips. But the other herbs I'm not really cutting because they're usually smaller and lamer, so, you know, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar with Garcinia Cambogia, just for the fun of it. Let's see here. Yeah, oh. Give this a sniff. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Dabble that all over it. Dashle dab. It's pretty sweet smell. It's actually. sweet. Yeah, it's really sweet. It gets sweeter with time. Uh, this one, also very sweet. Long in fermented honey. In, like, what is it? It's in? honey vinegar. Green tea vinegar. Honey vinegar. Mostly honey, though, that's been vinegarized. Real sweet. Mm. Mm. Very sensual. Bring me sensual. Sensual seduction. You know that's what it looks like. Yeah, girl, you know when I'm sensual, I always seduce immediately. Like sensual seduction. Like uh -huh. blue spruce, yeah. 
I like blue a, spruce is pretty sensual, I'm not gonna lie. I'd like br blue spruce to a moose. Alright, avocado, coconut, and safflower oil mix conveniently. So you get a little oil in there. You don't need that much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm gonna be putting some hemp seed oil, because why not? Just a little bit. Drop the hemp seed oil. Lamp light the pathway forward. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. There was no <laughs> at the end. Totally. Oh, if yeah. only there had been a lamp lighter to, to help Mary off the donkey, she wouldn't have given birth that night. What is wrong with the service of these inns <laughs> these days? Yeah, she, she, could have, she was just like, I'm too tired to give birth. I'll do it tomorrow, Bubby. Uh, yeah, uh, anyways, uh, I'm just, I put the salt in there, fresh ground, because I like it that way. You know, you just, you just take the, uh, anti-giving birth pills. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, sage, you just, right. you just, like, yeah, sage. Yeah. That'll do fine. Yeah, and then I put a bunch of lime oil, uh, lime juice, lime juice on the, uh, the avocados here. Look at that stone there, right there. Yeah. Tender. Tender. Yep. Then we have our all of our ingredients. You know, you got your hot chicken. Oh, there's the chicken. Think about this. This chicken, uh, it was marinated in super carrot sauce, and so for the salad, it's like perky and delicious. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just like your chicken breast. Yep. And of course, the cheese is a mixture of uh, pepper jack and Monterey Jack or whatever. Yeah. Oh yes, put the cheese on there. Put the good uh, over my cheddar. Yeah, I couldn't find um, fancy cheese. My parmesan. I don't know where it is. I couldn't find the parm. So we got some roasted chestnuts for a go on top. Those are delicious. And we got our potato chips, because I like it that way, and our sunflower nuts. So these are things you put on at the end, right? So, you know, some people just mix this, and then they throw this on top. And this this is how I do it to look beautiful, right? You, well, let me wash my hands again. I can show you the world. Spinning, twirling, um, wait, me. wait, is there a female part of that? Won't you show me the world? Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Okay. Let's see here. Back to reality. Uh, yeah. So, we toss them, they're awesome. See, another option for this is popcorn. You pop a little popcorn in with the salad. That's really delicious, too. Ooh, popping that popcorn. Popping that popcorn. Ooh, popping that salad like popcorn. Popping the salad like popcorn. You popping the salad like popcorn. All right. There we go, salad overload. All right, now all your favorite hits, including popping that salad like we put the basil because I love basil. Who doesn't all over it? Big splodges of basil. Big huge splodges of basil. Yep. You put the tomatoes around the edges. Oh, lad, that's amazing. Yes. You're my favorite, mate, lad. God, no. <laughs> Chum, fellow. <laughs> Me and my mates were prancing through the fields, fawning over each other's accomplishments. <laughs> oh, no. Talking about the cover wives we'd have someday. Damn. I didn't know you worked for the government. 
Not that type of cover wife. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways. No, Charles, not that type of cover wife, you fool. Yeah, so like... You know, typically at this point for this type of thing, I put like Smothered in Ranch, but I don't know if I got Snow Ranch. Like, if I look in my pantries... Can you show me the ranch? Like, okay, ranch, right. Here's my ranch options. We got dreamy Italian nuts already. Lemon garlic marinade. No. Chipotle ranch. Chipotle ranch in time. All the good ra ranch is always eaten up. We gotta Chipotle get the good stuff. Chipotle ranch in slime. Oh, we can try this. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe there's... I don't think there's any open in here. Is this it? Mm. Mm. Stuff's got everything in it. I'm just pandering to the audience right now. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let's see here. Ooh, it's like a murky, savory smell. Ooh, Do you like that? that or hate it? It's Chipotle ranch dressing. Uh, I don't I don't really like Chipotle, so... Uh. Remember there was Chipotle ranch at Taco Time you hated, too? Yeah. I mean, I might like a little of this. I can get away with a little. I'll give it a try on the side here. See what I think. See if I like that or not. Well... So we don't have any ranch, so a good substitute is usually just mayonnaise, so yeah. I'm just gonna put that on there. I could show you the world. It would be a catastrophe. Dropping that mayo like a real American. I see. Trying to defeat me in heart disease before I die of cigarette smoking because my name is Jason Statham. Because you know my name is Jason Statham, right? No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, he doesn't quite have as much movement in his jaw as you, so when you talk, you're like, I'm like the upgrade Jason Statham. Did you know it was just a contract hit? I killed Crocodile Dundee. Yep, made it look like. <laughs> oh man, that's that's dirty. Did him dirty. Did it down. Oh yeah. I'm sorry for what I did to the Sting Race. I donate money every year to the Sting Race Society. Give him a bad name, yeah. I mean, this has canola oil, sunflower oil, yeah, tasty. What about does that? And then. And then you throw some chips right on that. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. 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 If Hugh Hefner were still alive in here today, he'd say, Who the fuck are you people? Yeah. You gotta eat your water chestnuts. It keeps your thighs slim. Playboy Bunny! <laughs> yes. Also, uh, I don't even understand any of how, how he, he didn't do anything. I don't even understand. What? Yeah. You know, the final ingredient? The final ingredient? The final ingredient, Squidward, is the massive. Cucumber? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Where's our... Just black pepper. I thought there was a black pepper grinder alert. Grinder. Yeah, I thought it was in here. I guess not. That's spooky. I don't know what to do. I'm shocked and dismayed. I don't know, man. It's real... I guess that's something we don't have as well for some reason. Mysterious lack of black pepper. Oh well, I guess we'll just eat it the way it is. It's a tragedy. Alright, here you go. 
Damn, that looks pretty good. Yeah.